Is this worth £60? Find out after this. So as you can see, I've got the new, well, new-ish, Rainbow High Jet Dawson doll. So just showing on the packaging, which looks really good on the back actually. Um, she's got the, the posh packaging, as I call it, where they've got the little gold things on. They had that with the twins. And um, she's like a deluxe doll. Cause she's got like a second dress outfit and then some accessories and everything. But really want to get her open and out of the box. So I shall do that now. So I unboxed her and <laughs> funnily enough, when I was, uh, I didn't use scissors initially, which was stupid because I actually banged a plastic strap for one of these boxes really hard on my thumb. Ouch, so use scissors. But I will start with the accessories because she has a lot of them. This, completely forgot what it's called. Uh, is it, it's not a changing horse? No, style horse. Someone help me out, it's gone completely out of my head. But this is really good, like the wheels actually move. It's like soft bodied as well. It says Rainbow High on it, 2021. Um, and there's even some measuring tape on there. I didn't um, click that in properly. Ah, no, that's why. I didn't click it in properly. There's actually a proper slot to do it. So it clicks. There you go. All right, that's proper clicked in now. So it's not broken, it just wasn't clicked in properly. But that's just, I love detailed accessories like that that you can put in any kind of diorama and stuff. That's just really cool. So I really like that. These two boxes, which we've seen before in Avery Styles playset and then the twins. And then I think they're released in that cabinet thing with all the clothes. I do want to get that, but it's just, I think that's really expensive for what it is. And I'm waiting for that to come down on Amazon because it's just too much. But in one of them you get shoes. I'll show you those with like real ribbon fastenings the shoes are really good I'll probably put them on someone else because uh, I'll show you why in a bit but I just really love Jet's outfit and then this one I always think they're quite cheeky with these because they did this with the twins um, earrings and just put earrings in a box and all they put in this box is one hanger and I'm not actually that keen on the new design of the hangers where it just says rainbow i don't think they needed to do that i think it just was fine as a standard hanger because then you could use it with other doll lines but that's very cheeky just putting one very small accessory in the box they could have given i don't know something else but very cheeky i think this i love this um epic it's a little uh sewing machine and just the detail on that and look it actually works i don't know if you can see that so you twist it and it goes up and down like a sewing machine. I just think that's so cool because um, Jet Dawson, oh, I can't remember what she is in the show now. Is she a, got that annoying moustache again? Um, what does she do in the show again? I saw the episode she was in. She was a cool character actually. I think she was like head of fashion. I can't remember now, but she was head of fashion or high up in the fashion world. And then you get the standard hanger and brush. And then this dress. So what I'm, I'm saying about the outfits and everything, so this dress is supposed to go with those shoes. The detail on this is just insane. So all this is like, is this all embroidered? Is it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, this is all embroidered. I'm not really, I collect a lot of dolls, but I'm not really into dress things. You know, they'll be in like, you know, look there. I've got that Barbie style doll. She's in like a pink um, business suit and then one behind her jeans, the other one skirt, shorts and stuff like that. All the Rainbow High dolls don't have them in dress thing. I just don't like big poofy dresses or anything like that. It's just not, I'm just not into it really style wise for my dolls. But this is an amazing dress. And the thing is, I think it goes on this, but you can put it on, I'll show you the doll now. You can put it on Jet Dawson, but I love Jet Dawson's outfit so much that I just don't think I'll be putting this on. I've seen other people's reviews as well, and they said that it doesn't fit very well. Um, someone actually bust a seam. I can't remember if it was my froggy stuff or not. I've seen so many reviews of this doll. And yes, I'm late to the game, but you know, she is expensive. So I was kind of like, I can wait, you know, it's fine. Um, but yes, I won't be using that 
I'll just use it as like an accessory piece, but very good detail, really, really good. I love her eyes, just the so, so good. Like it's actually got like all of the rainbow in them. So cool. The hair is amazing. I've seen some people take the top knot out and then she's kind of a bit bald underneath, but I won't be doing that because I actually like her hairstyle as it is. So it's like half black and then half rainbow underneath. Such a cool design. Bit Cruella-ish actually. Um, funnily enough, the stand is one of, I think, the best, the cl it clips are in so well compared to the other ones because those clips are a bit big, I think. But the stand is just really clear and a bit boring. I just find that strange for like a special edition doll. But the outfit, I just love the outfit. I love the um, leggings with the scribble effect on. The shoes as well, to show you there. So detailed, the level of paint detail on there is just surpassing anything that Mattel is really doing at the moment. Um, keep stroking her hair. Oh, and the hair's really nice. There's no gel in it or anything. The fact that there's embroidery on the gloves is just crazy. Like, such good detail. I think detail must be the most overused word on my channel, but even even on here, on her top underneath, that rainbow, it says rainbow high there. I don't know if you can see, but that is embroidered and so good. There is a small black mark just under her neck there, I don't know if you can see. It's only very small. Can you see? Yeah, very, very small, but it's not. I'll be able to take that off with a bit of acetone. But is she worth £60? This is the thing. Oh, and she's got the um, new articulation as well. So she's got the head pivot like the twins. Um, she's got a bit more of torso as well. And then the, the rest of the articulation is standard, but she's got increased articulation. I think other dolls are going to have that. How many times have I stroked her hair? <laughs> I should have done a um, competition. How many times have I stroked Jet Dawson's hair in this video? But it's just so nice because the first series of dolls is way too gelish. That's a new word I've used, but just way too much gel in the hair. And a lot of them I had to wash out, but I'm glad I don't have to do that with her. But £60, I mean, standard Rainbow High dolls are 30 uh, The Cheerleader dolls, they were 23 I actually think the, the winter break ones, which I will be reviewing two of them, but I'm going to wait for the winter time because it just feels weird, kind of summer, autumn period, reviewing snowboarding dolls, you know? But um, they're £40. So she's 60 so she's like a special edition, oh, nearly dropped her, a special edition doll. And she did actually come numbered. Uh, I didn't get a numbered one. There's like one, I think there was a thousand. And a lot of people are trying to get numbered ones. I knew I wouldn't get one because um, I got it quite a while after America got them. And it was just from Argos. So I just I knew I wouldn't get a numbered one. Doesn't bother me though, because I'd be opening her anyhow. And I think if I'd got a numbered one, I'd be like, oh God, I'll have to keep her and then buy one to open. So I'm actually glad I didn't get a numbered one. But £60, it might be a lot, but I kind of think the level of quality you're getting, because uh, if Mattel released a Barbie like this with the level of quality, it would be well over 100 I think. So I definitely think she's worth it. And I just, the moment I saw her, I was like, I really wanted her. I remember them saying about that numbered thing, and I thought, oh God, I'm not ever going to be able to get one if there's only a 1,000. But thankfully, they're released uh, worldwide. But I really like her. Uh, she fits in well. Um, See, it's great having this um, display case behind me because I can just be like, oh, here's one I had earlier. But um, here she is with Ruby, who's still my favourite because I just love, you know, rocking the backwards baseball cap. And um, I just love her colour scheme and everything. So I think she'll always be my favourite. Her and Jade. But I do really like this doll a lot. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, leave some comments. Do you like the Rainbow High dolls? Do you think this is too expensive? Do you think the detail's good? Just leave some comments. I like replying. It's all about um, just, you know, getting into the geek community and stuff. So, yes, I will uh, see you next time. Bye.